Now, celebrations rent the air at the High Court in Mombasa today as 25 soldiers who had been slapped with life imprisonment were set free. Well, the court martial had committed the ex Kenyan Navy soldiers to life in prison for deserting duty. KTN's Coast reporter Francis Ontomwa now tells us why the prosecution found itself gnashing teeth in the courtroom. The upshot is that all the appellants in the criminal appeals. Now before this court are set at liberty forthwith unless otherwise lawfully held. The declaration that will send the court into a frenzy, one that friends and relatives of the ex-soldiers waited with bated breath. To some, it became a moment of meditation for their kinsmen who had languished behind bars at the Shimola Tewa prison for more than 18 months. Hello. This court has found that the offense of desertion while on active service was not proved beyond reasonable doubt. Anxiety and tension was clear among those who followed the proceedings as lawyers from both the defense and prosecution rolled their sleeves in the face of. Yes, my lord. We just want to lay a basis for the state because we need to demonstrate we have an arguable appeal. So, well, even the question of security, these 25 people were in this court are not in any way compromising or negating for the security of the state at all. But just how did the men of the military find themselves locked up behind bars? The story goes back to the year 2007 and 2008 when they allegedly deserted duty to work with U.S. security firms in Iraq, Afghanistan and Kuwait. At the time the country was in full-blown war in Somalia and upon their return in 2013, their seniors allegedly set them up before a military court. They were slapped with life imprisonment, something that they challenged in civilian courts. We have gone through a process where the 25 persons have been punished or are being punished, right? they were being punished, Your Honor, because of a process that sent them to Chiburatewa. Through their lawyers, the soldiers countered the accusations, insisting that Kenya wasn't in any war at the time of quitting. They also stated that they had been wrongly convicted under the Kenya Defense Forces Act 2010 that had not been fully enacted at the time. In the final determination, Justice Moya suppressed earlier charges of live imprisonment by court martial and substituted the charge with absenteeism from duty without leave. He argued that this had, however, been whitewashed by period they lasted in remand. Honorable Justice Muya, uh, having listened carefully to all the arguments, delivered uh, what we consider to be a proper judgment in the circumstances of the case. I thank God for what has happened today. We have seen the heart of God, and I praise the... Uh, the judge who has delivered the judgment. The prosecution's prayers to have interim orders of stay for the 25 was rejected, even as they stuck to their line of argument that the judgment was bound to create loopholes for indiscipline in the force and failed to deter others from ditching the service. The 25 were later taken back to Shimolatewa prison as procedures commence on their release. In the history of the Kenyan judiciary, today's judgment will perhaps go down the annals of history as the 25 ex-soldiers escape the guillotine and now walk scot-free back home. Francis Otomwa, KTN News, at the Mombasa Law Courts.